Congratulations, Oscars. You've done it. You've proved that people are idiots. It's no secret that this last decade has not been good to the Oscars. People just don't seem to care like they used to. They're struggling to retain the audience they used to have and bring in the new generation. So what has the brain trust known as the Academy decided to do about it? Well, besides the obvious of hiring three strong female leads to host. And by the way, it's about time. They decided in their infinite wisdom that this is the year we let viewers put their money where their mouth is and vote for their own winner. Because what could go wrong? If you've been watching this channel for a while, you'll know I'm not huge on the Oscars. In fact, I think they're kind of a joke at this point. Uh, feel free to subscribe if you haven't. I put out movie content constantly. When it comes to choosing the films, though, to put on a platform and give an award to, I happen to side with the Academy more often than not. Yes, there's your occasional outlier or one that got robbed or wasn't even nominated where I throw my hands up in the air and, and scream why, but for the most part, they're, they're pretty solid. When it comes to movie reviews, I also tend to agree more with the critical consensus rather than your average Joe moviegoer. And this radical new idea the 2022 Oscars have done is proving my point. People are pathetic. Let's break this down. What has happened is the Oscars have decided that every single day until March 3rd, I believe, viewers on Twitter or on their website can vote for their favorite movie up to 20 times a day. Mm. Do you think that normal people are going to be doing this daily? No, of course not. It's going to be the psychopaths. <laughs> this is so stupid. And I'm guessing this is what the Academy wanted to happen. They wanted to, to see these people eat their own heads off. What is going on right now is, at first, Spider-Man No Way Home was leading the charge by a little. They were going back and forth. Uh, but that's since, that's since kind of fallen down. What's taken its place? Well, you guessed it. Amazon Cinderella. Amazon Cinder. Remember that film that no one saw? That looked like absolute dog shit? That's number one right now for the Oscar pick for best film. Now, believe it or not, fam, I have a feeling that a lot of the people that voted for this movie didn't even see it. Yeah. My wild hunch, there's a lot of Camila Cabello fans out there. Mm-hmm. That's a singer, and she's she plays Cinderella. Hey, you throw Selena Gomez or T. Swift in a movie in 2021, you're gonna see those votes come in as well for 2022. You're just gonna that's just gonna happen. So I think that's what's happening there. But don't worry, there's more to this dumb story. And it just happens to come from my favorite fandom of them all, the Zack Snyder stands. Are they called something like bronies or potterheads? Something like snide tards, maybe? I don't know. I'm guessing there's something. I'm just not in that zone yet. I'm not part of that community. They won't have me. That's right. They've been voting like crazy to get Zack Snyder's masterwork, the Justice League Snyder cut in there. For a few days, it was really popping. But then those sons of bitches over at the Academy said, nay, this is not a legit film. It's a recut. It's a remake of sorts. It doesn't belong here. I'm sure there's controversy. I'm sure it's all over the message boards. It's blowing up on YouTube and in all their social channels. How the Academy is in cahoots with Warner Brothers. And they all hate Zack Snyder because he's a visionary master. And they just don't get it. But the stupid doesn't stop there. <laughs> no, we're just getting started. Then they determined if he can't get in for this golden goose... We'll just move on to the next greatest film ever, which of course is Army of the Dead, the Netflix exclusive and the total abortion of a movie. This thing is terrible. It was on my top 10 worst of the year list. Imagine not only thinking it's a good movie, fine, fair, have that opinion, but thinking it's the greatest movie of the year and voting for it 20 times over. How embarrassing. How sad. Watch more movies. Zack Snyder will always own a piece of my heart because of 300. It's an amazing movie. I like a lot of his films. Well, not so much in the last decade, but Jesus, these people are nuts. They're certifiably insane. I'm sorry. That's just how it is. There's a lot of mental disorder out there. And if you're part of this cult, I just don't even know how to help you anymore. Come out of it. Pull back a little bit, for fuck's sake. Listen, I have plenty of directors I love too and get excited when they come out with a movie. Uh, Steven Spielberg, James Cameron, 
Quentin Tarantino, David Fincher, Christopher Nolan, Martin Scorsese, Guillermo del Toro, Peter motherfucking Jackson. There's a lot of directors I think are fantastic, but I would never die on a hill for them. I would never go to bat for them, 1000%. If they make a movie I don't like, which out of all the directors I just listed have all made something I haven't liked, I will let you know. I won't vote at best movie of the year for spite. Cinderella getting a ton of votes? That's one thing. That's got to be what? Uh, just a bunch of 18 year old girls? But Zack Snyder getting votes for Army of the Dead? We're talking 45 year old men here, people. Grow up. Move on. And listen, I wouldn't be going so hard at the Snyder Tards right now if it wasn't for what they did to James Gunn just last week on Twitter. They were freaking attacking him because Cyborg wasn't at the end of freaking Peacemaker. They were throwing a fit because he wasn't in that cameo shot with the others. Newsflash! Dip, 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 this just in, dipshits! Cyborg's not on good standings with Warner Brothers. They hate him. The actor and Warner are fighting, they're feuding, there's a lot going on, and I'm not picking a side. I don't, I don't really give a crap about Warner Brothers, they've made nothing but bad decisions in my mind. But in this instance, it has nothing to do with James Gunn. And they weren't just mad at James Gunn for not having him there, no, they had to use the race card. They called him racist for not having Cyborg. Imagine calling the director and writer of a show featuring a female black lesbian and another male black gentleman a racist. These are lead characters in the show, both of which had amazing moments. These individuals are an embarrassment, and I want to stop seeing them trending on Twitter. I, I'm just sick of it. As far as which fan movie wins the Oscar, who cares? It's a joke. The Oscars are playing you. God, so stupid. All right, thanks for watching the video. Comment below your thoughts. I'd love to hear what you have to think about this whole fiasco. Like the video if you had a good time. Again, subscribe if you haven't. I post content constantly here on movies and sometimes on TV show reviews like Peacemaker, which I liked a lot. Yeah, even without Cyborg, I still liked it. Hit the notification bell, tell your grandma about the show, blah, 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 and hopefully I'll see you next time. Since you're still here, and I know you appreciate a good Snyder cult ribbing, think about joining me on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies, or right here on YouTube via that join button. You can, I can never say button well, button, button. Anyway, there, there's a dollar tier, there's a five dollar tier, ten dollar tier with different perks for each, and it's just a great way to say, hey Adam, I like what you're doing, here's some support, and I appreciate it.